All right, I wanted to do a quick video about the Gleason map. So I get a lot of arguments against this. Um, I don't understand your counter arguments. It, it kind of baffles me. So you're going to have to explain it to me um, better because I don't see how projecting the globe onto this map somehow then changes the positions um, in your favor. So there's a globe and... Alex Gleason made a map, and to get his patent, yes, he did say this is a projection of the globe. Now, this map, um, a zero um, acrylescent map, you put something in the center, and then you put everything around the circumference of it. Now, I have a feeling, I've read his book, and I don't know if he said these words, but I'm assuming this is how he came up with this map. He was looking at the compass, and he realized the compass is everything s circling around north. So, he the compass always ports north and south is always the circumference of north so he looked he went to the library and he um for his scale he used summer solstice and winter solstice and he figured out where the sun was was um, according to the almanacs at the library at different places and he measured the distance and then he mapped them out on a piece of paper that had the north in the center and the south as the circumference you guys have this quantum airlines or something like that that flies from Johannesburg to uh, Australia to Sydney. And apparently it's 6,000 miles. 6,000 miles at 15, 13 to 15 hours or something like that. Sounds about right for a um, 6,000 mile, uh, 6, mile flight. That sounds about right, about 15 hours. Uh, I did a flight from New York to um, Hawaii one time nonstop. It was about 13 hours. It's probably about 6,000 miles. It's 3,000 miles from New York to Los Angeles. Done that drive a bunch of times. Um, it's about 3,000 miles, give or take. I don't know where these miles come from from you, and I don't know how all of a sudden that you're taking this globe and it, uh, on a flat map it wouldn't work. It, w it does work on a flat map because that's all you guys use is flat maps. Every single map that is used is flattened out. Now, you say it's from the globe, but we there's no there's no curvature and there's no um, measuring the 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 spinning either. There's no Coriolis effect. So you have no curvature, no Coriolis effect. It's like it's flat. They use the sun as the decarmator lines as the so the sun's going around here and then it's going wider. It's going here. It's going all wider. Where the sun is based on these lines and they can figure out the, sh the size of the space, the size of the place. And they use plane trigonometry every time. Everything they use is flat, and then they have the miles set up. Now, when you are flying, you, you can hook in, and you can hook left, and you can hook right. There is no proof that they've ever flowed from one end to the other through the globe. That's what I'm trying to prove with the Flat Earth Challenge. I'm trying to prove that we're going to fly from... Christchurch, New Zealand, and we're going to fly west. So on this map, right, it's right here. And we're flying off the map. It's west. Southwest. West corner. It's, on the, it's not in the South Pacific. Um, and it's not, we're not going towards Australia. We're going the other way. On your globe, um, it's towards Chile and um, Argentina. When you do that flight, when you go to Chile, when you go to Argentina, when you fly towards um, America, when you fly towards California, you have a flight from Los Angeles to Sydney, they hook in. They, they hook in. They don't fly through the globe. There is no flight. There's no proof that you can show me that they fly through the globe. Are you trying? Well, I don't know what you're trying to say with this Johannesburg um to Sydney argument. I don't know. You're trying to say that it's 12,000 miles? You're trying to say it's because it's on the other side. You're trying to say it's 12,000 miles from? So Johannesburg is here. Is here. Australia's here. So it would be here. So you could hook over here. Could go through here. I don't see, I don't see, I don't see that being that far. I don't know if it's 12,000 miles or 6,000 miles. If it's 6,000 miles, I don't see that being a big deal. Um, 13 hours for a 6,000 mile, fl uh, 6, mile flight is about right. 
I don't know what this argument. I know, I know it. You're trying to disprove this. I get that. Um, Gleason had a hard time getting this map patent. They didn't want to make this map. They used this map in World War II. You can see the flight plans, and it's laid on this map. He said this map will be the map that is used in the future, and not in word, but indeed it is. Indeed, they do use this map. When you put all the flight plans on this map, it makes perfect sense in relation to where things are. It makes perfect sense. This map is correct. This map is correct. You guys just change your math to um, say it's not, and you just lie. It just straight up lies at this point. So take the challenge and look at the result.